Hello everyone, this is Mako again, and I got another video to share. Well, I have some time to make a video and that makes me really happy. As you may have read from the title, today I'll be taking a look at one of the Nendroids that I've been very much looking forward to getting. He is none other than Nishinoya Yu from Haikyuu, a sports series about volleyball. I have previously made a video about the Oikawa Toru Nendroid, also from the same series, and will include a link in the description box below in case anyone's interested. As for Nishinoya, or Noya Senpai, to most of the first years in Team Karasmo, he is the libero and most definitely one of the funniest yet coolest characters in the series. Um, I don't know how that is, but he really is both. Personally, I think his great personality is the main reason why he's one of the most popular characters in the series. He's also called the guardian deity of Karasuno because of his amazing skills as a libero, and uh, that just adds to his awesomeness. Okay, I don't want to spoil you guys too much about him in case you haven't watched the anime or read the manga, but Haikyuu is one of those series that I would highly recommend to people, so if you get the chance, please do watch it. Oh, and do tell me what you think, okay? Alright, so let's get on with the unboxing. This is how the box looks like. It's a bit different from the Nendroid boxes of the other Haikyuu characters. To give you a sort of comparison, um, here is Kageyama's box. And we also have Oikawa Toru's box. So, as you can see, the front of the boxes are all white while Nishinoya's is orange. This may be due to his position as a libero. There is a rule in volleyball that requires liberos to wear a different colored jersey to tell them apart from the other players. So this might be um, the reason why the colors of this box is different and I think it's uh, pretty amazing. It's a really nice attention to detail. Aside from the color, I think all the other um, details are the same like uh, he also has those embossed volleyballs on the box and of course his uh, Nandroid number he's Nandroid number 592 his name Haikyuu second season the logo of Haikyuu on the left corner top left corner and then um, or he's from the Orange Rouge brand Good Smile Company's brand for male figures. So this is the front of the box. Lights. The other side. So let's uh, open up the box with a very simple orange background with his Nandroid number, 592 of course. Here is Nishinoya in the blister pack. Let's uh, take a closer look at the figure and the accessories that he comes with. Nishinoya comes with a special rectangular base that looks like the floor of a volleyball court, a stand for the volleyball, and a regular stand that is shorter compared to the stands that uh, the other Haikyuu Nandroids came with. He also comes with several pairs of arms and legs, a volleyball, and a towel that you can drape around his shoulders. Nishinoya also comes with two extra face plates, one grinning expression, and one serious expression to display him concentrating on a match. Unlike Hinata and Kageyama, he doesn't come with a volleyball net and pole. Instead, you get an alternate head with his hair down to recreate one of the funniest scenes in the Here anime. Here we have uh, Nishinoya. I love how they sculpted his hair and uh, the shading. It's not very visible on the camera, but if you look at it in person, you can see how really nice they colored his hair. So let me turn him slowly for you guys.
Okay, so my final thoughts about this figure. I think the quality is as great as the other Haiki Nendoroids. One thing that I really love about the Nendoroids from this series is how varied their faceplates are. And uh, Nishinoya certainly does not disappoint in that aspect. I think the expressions they chose captured his personality perfectly. The box was also well planned. Really good idea on giving him a different colored box. And the accessories that he came with are just fantastic. One thing however, just like the other hiking androids, some of his poses were difficult to recreate. There is one particular pose wherein you might need to use the longer stand that came with the other characters in the series. It would require some patience and uh, creativity and a little bit more time, but the result would definitely be worth the effort. All in all, I am very much satisfied with uh, Nishinoya's uh, Nendroid version and uh, I hope, I really hope, Good Smile Company will continue with this uh, level of quality, not just for the Haikyuu Nendoroids, but for all their Nendoroids. Well, that's it for this uh, unboxing and uh, mini review video of uh, Nendoroid number 592, Nishinoya U from Haikyuu. What do you guys think about Nishinoya? Do you also have the same figure? Or are you planning on getting him in the future? And uh, who's your favorite character in Haikyuu? Let me know in the comment box below. As always, thank you so much for watching and hope to see you again next time. Bye!